Welcome to the Free Spirit Documentary, part two. In this part, I'm gonna show you the process of making the project Free Spirit. It's a journey. The first song is called Everlasting. I started writing this song around like 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., early spring. And I was just inspired. It was just birds chirping on my trees. The wind was flowing, cars passing by. I was just very inspired to pick up the guitar and just play something smooth, something to complement the nature sound. The second song of the Free Spirit Project is called Baby Bird. Now the phrase baby bird came from this blackish episode where the mom was talking to her youngest son and her youngest daughter and just called them baby bird. And for some reason that stuck with me. Baby Bird was also inspired at watching one of my best friends have her first child and watching her hold her daughter in her hand. The joy, just, it was just so bodacious and beautiful to see and I'm glad I got to witness that. So the music was to complement the feeling of love for your child. The third track for the Free Spirit Project is called Closed Doors. Now this joint is a banger. <laughs> Closed Doors originally was, originally it was just the intro and the outro and it was just gonna be like a, a little interlude. And I just loved the chords. But then I was just like, you know what? I feel like I can make it really slap. And that's exactly what I did. And Closed Doors really represents um, my genre influence and how I can mix genres because it's really like an alternative folk, R&B, hip hop, rap song, even bits of country and jazz in there. Like it's literally like five to six different genres in one. Um, and it's my, one of my favorite. But the word, the words of closed doors, it came about of just being close to somebody or just knowing somebody in general and them not wanting to open up to you and you trying to, you know, allow them to just have trust for you. The 
The last track of the Free Spirit Project is called Nothing to Lose. This was the last track that I made that day. So originally I was literally, I made closed doors, I was laying down uh, and I heard this amazing harmony sample and I ended up adding my own harmonies to it and flipping it and making it my own. Then I added these drums and then this bass line, I made it so delicious and made my neck snap. That joint was going dumb. Like I was in the studio just enjoying myself going crazy because it was just such an amazing thing. The song with the artist on it, the features, is so weird, but it's so right at the same time. Cause you got myself who's like, I don't even know what I am. I'm just a multi-genre person. I really love music. And then you got like Micah E. Wood, who's making like indie pop songs, you know, very upbeat, uplifting. And then you got Nan Anna, who's like an alternative R&B artist, like Steve Lacey in the internet, like she's in that lane. Then you got K. Dot Woods or K. Woods, who's like a straight rapper who be like he be going dumb in the studio, but he also has his soulful tracks. So it's just amazing how these four different worlds got to come together and like make something beautiful and like really harmonize with each other. So this is why Nothing to Lose might be one of the best tracks coming out of Baltimore of all time, and it shows community and unity. And yeah, this song is just so important. So ultimately, I had the best time making this project. For one, because I haven't made any music for myself in such a long time, so making this project was so refreshing. It was like a fresher breath of air, or like that first jump in like a cold pool. It just felt really good and scary at the same time. But I hope people, or I hope you, the listener, really takes accountability of putting time for yourself when you listen to this project it's really about self and about love and about life and trying to do better for yourself so this project is really you about 